Socialize Up is an all-in-one social media application. It gives you access to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and more under one app umbrella. Let's take a look at how it looks and just how it feels to use it all in this one single app rather than having all of these separate apps that you can download for each one of those social media platforms in this review. So here it is, here is Socialize Up, as I said in the intro. And as I said too, yeah, it is an all-in-one social media application by Define Studio. Basically, this is available, as I said, on Android, and it's available here on Windows 10. You can find it in the Microsoft Store. It is free, but there is a tiny, tiny paywall, which is removing ads and adding Telegram support, which I'll get to in a second about my gripe about this whole um microtransaction style thing for it but that's just one thing uh but going into the application it looks pretty good um overall it doesn't look bad it looks nice and sharp for what it is for what it can do um it's nowhere near like the twitter applications and the all-in-one management applications from the past um that had a different layout this is clearly just a web wrapper of twitter itself because this is what the twitter app looks like this is what the web version of twitter even looks like when you go into this kind of screen um, so you won't really notice too much of a difference there, but it allows you to log into all of them all at once in a better interface than just having a bunch of tabs open on your web browser, which is why I like using it. Uh, going down further, if you hit this button here, this is the menu button, the little hamburger menu button that you see on most Windows 10 apps, the, new, the styling that they do. And this app for the Fluent Design check, does it have Fluent Design? It does because if you look right here, where this car in my background is, you can see that it kind of fades into the background a little bit. And as you go through, it looks more and more, you know, different, like acrylic-y. Uh, so they do have the fluent design check down. Next up, we have different social medias you can open up. Now, your experience is going to be different because I disabled some of the social media profiles that you can have on here. Um, so I have Twitter logged in. I have Instagram as well, which I just opened up an Instagram page. So you can follow this right here. Next windows on Instagram. I'll start posting on there later on or very soon rather probably starting with this video. Um, here is the button for telegram. Now, if you click it, you see it opens up my, uh, Microsoft menu where it tells you to log in with your pin in order to, uh, you know, in order to pay for the app, and I think it's three ninety nine if you want to unlock all the features, including no ads and everything like that. So if I hit X on the ads, it does the same thing. So you can see it wants you to purchase that upgrade. That's the only microtransaction in this entire app, but it's kind of a interesting one in that um, Telegram is locked away. And the annoying thing, the most annoying thing that I have with this um, paywall that you have here, is that if I want to just disable this from appearing on my app. You know where I have Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and then my, my split view button activated, and then this button here, which if you click it, it says unlock custom pass password, which allows you to pretty much set a password so no one else can look at your social media accounts if they get access to your computer via this app. But um, there's no way to get rid of this Telegram thing. You have to just pay for it, which is very dumb. Um, it's it's just annoying, and they kind of stuck it right in the middle of all of your other apps. It's not like it's at the bottom here. It's not like it's somewhere else. They they stuck it right in the middle, so you will accidentally click on it. And if you don't have enough security, someone might actually purchase it on accident um, when you don't notice. And that's that's my biggest problem with the app, as well as the other problem is uh, where they stuck the ad. Obviously, ads in a way are there to be intrusive to get you to be like so annoyed that you'll pay for the app in order to get rid of it and it's only 399 which is fine but it's 399 for a you know a web wrapper app it's not a bad web wrapper app but it's a web wrapper app so going in you have instagram the usual one this is the instagram website essentially if you go to instagram.com you have the telegram right there you have reddit and as you can tell right here this is the reddit website as well and i just logged into it the pc uh, ultra wide master race here which that actually looks pretty good uh, going down further, you have your split view, so that allows you to view two of your social medias at once. And as you can tell already, I really am only using three social medias total. I have Reddit, Instagram, and that, and I can't even reorder things by holding it down, which is also dumb. If I click this button up here, you can see this is the menu button. You can see that this menu button is for each, is proprietary for each app. So you have their separate menu buttons for each to go back and forward, refresh. This is called a mini player. So if you click that, you have this whole experience in a mini player. 
Um, and then if you have to hit this button right here, you can get it back. So let's say you go to Twitter and you want it to be in a mini player in the corner of your screen. All you have to do is hit that and there you go. Twitter is on the corner of your screen in a mini player and you, you can only resize it smaller. It can only go up to that big and it doesn't go any smaller than that except for here. So it is what it is. It works definitely. And what you guys are seeing on this recording is me scaling my monitor to 1080. Um, but my monitor is a super ultra wide at 5120 by 1440. Uh, but to, for the factor of YouTube, I had to make it 1080. So this app would work really well on my monitor just because I have so much screen real estate or if you have two monitors. Uh, going further here, you have that and then click on this. You have that paywall, but I'm not going to click on the paywall because I don't want it to be there. And then now you're into settings. So down here you have settings. This button here just shows you all the apps that this company makes, Define Studio. They make quite a few. It seems like their trend is making apps that encompass a lot of things together. So like Cloud Drive also is encompassing most of the most popular, you know, cloud storage solutions in one app, similar to this layout. Um, ArcView that I'm going to actually review in a later video um, also does similar things. You can get all of your RSS feeds in one you know, application, uh, and then Avid Tuner and so on like that. But going out of there, general is the important part. So you can remove the cache and temporary files. You have the acrylic background, which allows you to restart the app. And if you get rid of the acrylic background, basically it'll just be opaque. It'll just be like the color of this clear um, icon, this clear button here where you can't see through it at all. Um, you have, you have the nav pane visibility on the left. You can turn it, make it visible or invisible. Uh, you have your security features, which again, I can't do it because if I click on it, it's going to pull up the pay for it, um, you know, button, uh, going in deeper, you can hit the startup service. So whatever startup service you want, uh, you can choose it. And these are actually the social medias that are available for this app, Facebook, Reddit, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, Telegram at the very bottom, if you pay for it. And then you can choose whether you want to open external links in the browser, in the app, in another instance of the app, or just ask every time you open. And then lastly, you can see all the services. As I repeated before, you have Twitter, which you see here that I have not disabled. In fact, I don't know why there's like a little bug right there, or I guess not. It was there for a second. Um, seems like when I hover over it, the icon kind of becomes square if you can see it closely. Um, but regardless, you can see what what social media is that I have disabled because I don't use them. And, you know, WhatsApp and Facebook are one of them. And you might notice one app that is not there. And that is Telegram. Telegram is not in this services list for some reason. And therefore, you're not able to ever disable Telegram from being on that screen. So it's kind of just there in your way. And I, I hope that if you pay for it, which I, you know, I don't really use this too much, but I found it had potential to talk about. Um, I'd hope that if you pay for it, Telegram appears here. That way you can disable it. So I understand where they're going to just kind of annoy you little bits here and there to pay for the app, $3.99. And then you'll get a little bit more features, but they don't really say it too much. Uh, going here about, you can see all about the application. The version you're running is made with love in India. Congrats out there. Shout out to India. And then you have your in-app purchases. So these are the in-app purchases for Socialize Up. So you have your remove ads. You have your unlock telegram, unlock custom passport. And then you have your refresh and fix to just refresh your in-app purchases if you haven't already paid for it. And then you have your change log there, which tells you what's new in that version, which is nice. I like what they've done here. A lot more app developers need to do this. Just a simple screen that shows you in a nice, crisp, simple layout what is new. Because a lot of the time, they just kind of throw it all, regurgitate all the what's new in the Windows Store product page. And then it's kind of hard to notice what it is, what you're getting into. But here, they just made it very simple. They said, this feature is new. These, I, this icon for improved tells you that this was improved, the about and the change log. And then what's fixed is these bugs. Like, I, I like that. It's clean. So going back in, lastly, the final thing that I just have to say about this application is it's, it's pretty clean. It, it works. If I want to post something, uh, you can see that it works just like that. It works crisp and cleanly. Last thing, too, you can draw on the page, too. So if you want to be like, oh, I hit that snip button and I can just draw maybe around this window central post and I can be like, hey, I want to I want to draw that. I want to save it or share it or do whatever I want with it. I can highlight some things, too. I can be like, oh, look, HoloLens Development Edition 2 is in the U.S. now for thirty five hundred dollars. Microsoft, by the way, I'd love to uh, try out HoloLens. If you can send it my way, I would love to take a look at it. But yeah, it's it's a good app. 
it's it's a clean app it works what it needs to do it puts a bunch of social media web apps together and it allows your basically websites together in a web app function um, and it allows you to just have them all together at once now the final thing too you know i keep saying final but the final thing too is that um you you have so many of these little things here so here we have uh, choose startup page you can choose startup page that was already in the settings icon this allows me to quickly just jump between whichever ones which is kind of annoying because you can see here it's an open page on which side left or right so i want to open up the page on the right and that allows me to automatically make it an extra and a split view um if i want to bring reddit up i can be like oh i want to bring it left or right it's opened up in this side so then you see reddit is there it says i'm already logged in you can tell it's the website because it's taking a while and it's trying to load it up even on this gigabit connection and there you go so that is socialize up a very rough rough thing for socialize up hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions about this application feel free to leave me comments in the comment section below about it and maybe if it's something that i can't answer i will definitely relay it to the developer define studio for them to maybe possibly answer it for you or maybe fix a bug that maybe i didn't even catch like that square bug so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below my name is kwaku if you want to find me on twitter you can reach me at next windows nxt windows as well as instagram the same name and then if you want to email me nextgenwindows at gmail.com and i'll try to reply as soon as i can all right, everybody, stay safe out there and take care. Happy November.